Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's second topic <laughs> Mr. Ronnie Stanley. Stanley. Oh, man. So it's back to back days. Um, he hasn't practiced. And, you know, the reports are coming out saying that they're just resting him. Now, I'm a pretty calm guy, sort of, but even the calmness of me doesn't trust anything that Harbaugh says when it comes to injury for this team. These are the same guys that said that Lamar was coming back and he was fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yo, they are, they, listen, I'm going to be real with y'all. John Harbaugh has told, and I've counted 1,300 and 82 lie. Now, that's part of his job. He keeps people in, you know, he can't keep everybody in the loop. He can't give them too much information. So I understand why he does it. But 1,382 lies is a lot. So look, I don't trust everything that's coming out of there. Now, if it is just rest, I'm good with it. I need, and I, heard, I saw somebody say this on Twitter, I need 20 games from this man. I need Ronnie Stanley 100% of the snaps for 20 games. So if they want to rest him throughout August, huh, go ahead. I don't care. But I need him every game. Especially with the holes that are on this offensive line. Now look, every offensive line has holes. There's no perfect offensive line in the league. The best offensive line to me is Philly. They're the, they're the best well-rounded line from left all the way to right tackle. They're, it's just amazing. Center's amazing. Guards are great. Like, that's to me the best line, right? And they can run as good as they can run block, they can pass pro. <laughs> amazing line. So they're probably the only exception to the rule. But every other team has one or two holes. But... We cannot survive. I repeat, you can do things to mitigate a guard that is bad, i.e. Cleveland. But if you have a guard that is bad, a right tackle that is bad, and a left tackle that is injured, that's a recipe for disaster. And that's where my worrying comes from. Now look, like I said before, they said that this is just them resting him. But I would, listen, <clears throat> if this was something normal, I would believe it. But when it comes to injuries, Harbaugh has, uh, there's a, how many times have we heard, oh, they has tweaked something. The next practice, they're not there. Ah, it, it was a little more strained than we thought. Then, ah, they're getting a little surgery. It's okay. Think about it. Pepe, they said it was okay. He's going in for surgery. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> So that's my that's what I'm trying to say with injuries when it comes to this team. Now, once again, I want to reiterate, I understand. Because you can't be forthcoming to your opponents because they're using anything they can to get some type of leverage or foot ahead of you in a gaming system. So I understand that. You know what I mean? But 1,382 lies is a lot. Y'all understand, I know the number. I know the number. That it's a documented number. Since the time John Harbaugh has been brought on to the team, lying about injuries and whatever else it is that he's been caught in, because it could be more, 1,382. That's a lot. That's a lot. So, you know, I'm a little uneasy about it. And <clears throat> Ronnie has been injury prone the last couple of years. Now, um, it could be, you know, because of Dr. Frankenstein that they had employed here, the former strength and conditioning coach that exasperated the, uh, the, the injury and made it way worse. So now we're reaping what that is. You know what I mean? But still as a whole, you know what I mean? He has been injured quite often now. And I listen, I'm hoping he gets, you know, back to hundred percent. Ronnie Stanley is one of the studs of this team. Like him or love him or hate him or love him, he's one of the studs of this team. 
He's one of the better players on this team. And we've seen when he's playing at the highest level that he can, he is top three left tackles in the entire NFL. Now, I know people are going to say, are you sure he's top three? Go look at the stats. Top three. Just like Mark Andrews is a top three tight end. You know what I mean? Not number one, but top three. So, you know, I'm hoping that all that stuff gets rectified. I'll hear about some more stuff because I've been asking a lot of people that be there and stuff. The, you know, is Ronnie Stanley going to, and they're saying that they don't know. That's that's what they're, that's what they've been um, reporting, that they don't know if he's going to uh, sit out for another game or whatever else it is. Matter of fact, let me see if I can even find that because if I'm not mistaken, um, I had had it. I had had it up too for all of the injuries. I don't know. I don't know if I could find it real quick. I had it, but I don't know if it was going to come up again. But there was a list of injuries. They did a list and put it out there for all the injured Raven players. And um, yeah, <laughs> it was a list. It was a list of guys. So, you know, hopefully, like I said, that stuff gets rectified. And, you know, oh, so here it goes. Yeah, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. So, injury update for the Ravens cornerback room. Okay, just that. J- Jalen Armour Davis return is real close, so he's not out there. Rockison is not as close as Jalen Armour Davis, but pretty soon. Arthur Mollett is also real close. These are what they're using. Sounds <laughs> Pepe Williams is different. He went in for uh, surgery, but you know he does a crack. I guess there's a screw in there for a cracked bone. So you know that's just and think about how many I just said. That's just the cornerback room. That's it. That's the cornerback room with that many injuries. So we got to get these guys, like, healthy. I'll reiterate this, and I'll beat the table until the cows come home. Injury has been our Achilles heel. If you got to rest the best players, rest them. They asked Lamar today at the plate. They're like, are you going to play in the preseason games? Yeah, I looked at them like, huh, no. (laughs) And I don't want them playing none. No. Not even one. Not even one. I don't care. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, we need to get some reps. No, you don't. He's a former MVP. He's a veteran. The man's been in there now going on six years. He's not a rookie. He is not a rookie no more. The man's been in there for over half a decade. Think about that real quick. Lamar Jackson has already been the Ravens quarterback for a half a decade. A decade. Half. Before COVID to now, think about how long ago that was. That's how long he's been a quarterback for this team. So, you know, get these guys healthy, get them ready. I am worried about the O-line still. Ronnie Stanley's injury, I'll be watching intensively because that's not something that I want them to play with. I want them to play, I want them to deal with them with baby gloves. We've already seen that left tackles are one of the hardest things to replace in the entire NFL. Top three hardest positions to fill in the entire NFL. Quarterback, left tackle, who else? What would be another hard, an actual hard position to replace? And a top corner, yeah, in my estimation. So, you know, hopefully, like I said, we're praying for him and he comes back 100%. But, you know, keep that man in, in prayer because he's going to need every ounce of prayer he could get to make it through this off season and through the entirety of the regular season. We got a long way to go, guys, a long way to go. But hopefully <laughs> we get there soon because I'm telling you right now, if there's any more injuries, I'm going to be pained up. <laughs> Hurt <laughs> straight up, but that's an episode of the Wonderkin show. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I hope we get down. We have fun and we laugh, but everything we talk about is rooted in what facts and truth. Please do remember like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I love the comments. Also, already and is up and going is the Wonderkin Patreon. Give it a look, give it a follow, subscribe, donate to it. There's three tiers, amazing extra content, 
fantasy football, Discord, all those things. Give it a look, all right? And if you want to help the channel grow, bottom of the screen right here is a QR code. QR codes to a Cash App. Cash App is located in the description of every video that we do. And that's how we do all, like, the donations to help with, like, all the, all, like, the channel and stuff. Like, all the knickknacks, like, getting a, uh, a new uh, or a backup mic and all that stuff. That's what it goes to. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Easy. But once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This show is Nitro signing off. And as always, you guys know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. You're...